So this next one is kind of fun because you could be given, say, the pH or the pH and be asked to calculate the opposite, okay? So it's like, and, and calculate either hydronium or hydroxide. So if you were, say, given pH, but you were asked to calculate hydroxide ions, you have to find the pOH first and then go backwards. That's fine. Okay? So now, so to do this, basically in math, you guys will learn soon that the opposite of the log is exponential form. And so if you want to find the hydronium ion concentration, you go, that's equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. So you can put these, I don't think I gave you boxes for this on your formula sheet, but you can put it on your formula sheet, it would be good for you to have that. Sorry I didn't give those to you on your sheet. There's lots of room on that sheet. And then the same is true for the hydroxide ion, it's 10 to the power of negative pOH. And it'll be fun, once you get to log logarithmics and exponent, ex exponents in math, then you'll really understand why these formulas are the way they are. You guys haven't done any logs, hey, in math yet? They're fun. So let's try one together. So say we're given the pH of something, so now go 10 to the power of negative 4 in your calculator. Okay, now notice we're flipping from pH to hydronium ion. So you look at it as, for pH, you look at the significant digits behind the decimal place. There's only one significant digit. So then there's only one significant digit in this answer. So remember, pH and pOH, the sig digs are behind the decimal place. Everything else is normal. So next go um, 10 to the power of negative 6.21. Okay, you get like 6.165, etc. So you round that to 6.2 times 10 to the negative 7 because there's two decimal places um, after P, after 6. And so you have two sig digs here. Okay, try the next where you go 10 to the power of negative 13.4. You get like 3.981 times 10 to the negative 14. pH of 7, you should almost be able to just not um, put that in your calculator, but no, see the pattern? Well, that's going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 7 mole per liter. So pOH, again, it would be 10 to the power of negative 1, 0.1 mole per liter. Um, number 6 is 10 to the power of negative 13.2. So you get like 6.3095, but you can only have one significant digit because there's only one sig dig here. Okay. Am I going too slow or too fast? Do you guys have time to punch it in yourself? So for this one, you get like 1.2589, so you have to round it up to 
Okay? Okay? Okay, so this is kind of where we get to put puzzle pieces together to kind of figure out unknowns. So say my hydronium ion concentration is this, well I can figure out my pH from that. Okay? So my pH is negative log of my hydronium ion. So I can go negative log 4 second E negative 6. So I got 5.3979, etc. So you can put that in here, 5.40. Well, if you found your pH, you can find pOH by going 14 minus 5.4 and use whatever like you round it to for your next calculation. So your pOH you should get is 8.60. Am I going too fast? Okay. So because now I found pOH, I can find my hydroxide ions by going 10 to the power of negative 8.6, which is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 9. Now, when you're trying to decide if, it, if it's acidic, basic, or neutral, what I find easiest is to look at my pH because that's the scale that we're most familiar with. So if I think about a pH of 5.4, that's under 7, so that's definitely acidic. Okay? You could draw a scale for yourself too, um, but I find just once I find the pH, it's easiest to think about that one and not get mixed up. Okay, <clears throat> so say we're given our pH first. You could find your pOH first, or you could find your hydrox, um, your hydronium ion concentration first. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll find my hydroxide ion concentration. So that should be um, negative. No wait, ten to the power of negative nine point five gives me 3.16 times 10 to the negative 10. To find my pOH, I go 14 minus 9.5, 4.5. Then I can find my hydroxide ion by going 10 to the power of negative 4.5. So it's 3.16 times 10 to the negative 5. Okay, so say I'm giving my, do you guys kind of get it so far? What I'm doing, any questions about how I'm finding anything? So to determine if this is acidic, basic, or neutral, again, I like to look at the pH. It's definitely bigger than 7, so it's basic. So I'm given my hydroxide ion concentration first, so I'm going to figure out my pOH, so that's negative log 2 second E negative 11, so 10.698, so I'm going to put that to 10.70. From that I can find my pH, so 14 minus 10.7 is 3.30. Now to go back to my hydronium ion. I go 10 to the power of negative 3.3, and I get 5.0 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, you guys try the last three columns, and I'll put that up. Oh, and 3.3 is definitely acidic. So you, you try the next three just on your own for a minute, and then I'll, I'll put the next, the next ones up. 